All right, so we're going to continue with um, measurements. And the next, the next topic is area. So area, when we say area, as opposed to perimeter, when we said perimeter, it is the total distance that around an object. But when we talk about the area, um, area is a little bit different, okay? The area of something is the, the, is the okay, let me just give an, an example. So the area for this square is the, is the shaded portion, and I'm going to show you it's a shaded portion. It's all of this. It's all that's inside. It's all that's inside the square. This is what we call the area. So all the stuff that's contained, the total space, the total space in the square, that's what we call area. So you have to know the difference between area and perimeter. When we talk about the area of a square, remember with a square, all the sides are equal. All the sides are equal. The area of a square or the area of a rectangle is the length times the breadth. The area of a square is the length of one side times the breadth. Okay? So if this is a square, all the sides are equal. Right? With a square, all the sides are equal. So this is 5. This is going to be 5 yards and this is also going to be five yards okay so the area which is the portion inside the square yes. is the length times the breadth so it is the length is five and the breadth is also five So it's five times five, and that's equal to 25. Okay? So that's the yes. area, that's the area of, of, of yeah. the square. Okay, so let's uh, put that in and see. So that's 25, and then submit it. Okay, so it's, it's uh, when you say it's square yards, so when you square the distance it's going to be square yards now i'm going to teach you a little trick this is a triangle right is this a triangle yes okay it's a triangle but a triangle is half of a rectangle a rectangle would be like this right this would be a rectangle, right? So a, a triangle is just half of a rectangle. If you were finding the area of a rectangle, it would be the length times breadth. So the area of a rectangle, okay, it would be the length times the breadth. But this is a triangle. This is a triangle. Yeah. It, as a matter of fact, it's a right angle triangle because this angle is 90 degrees. It's a right angle triangle. This angle is 90 degrees. And because, if as again, if we were finding the area of a rectangle, the area of a rectangle is equal to the length times... The breadth. Just like we did for the square, it will be one side multiplied by the other side, and you get the area, which is the portion inside the, 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 the rectangle. But for a for a triangle, because it's a, it's half the rectangle, the area of a triangle is equal to okay, the area of a triangle is equal to half of the rectangle, so it's equal to a half, a half times the length times the breadth.
okay so the area of a triangle is half yes okay so when it for the area of a triangle it's half the base or the length times the breadth you see that so for this triangle the area is equal to one half the yes. the length is so it's one half just bear with my writing it's one half times seven which is the length times the breadth which is four you see that so it is equal to a half seven times four or seven times four divided by two so that seven times four is 28 divided by two which is equal to 14. And again, when you talk about the area, it is all, the area is, all, is always a distance squared. So this is four yards, this is seven yards, so it's yard square. Area is always the square of a distance, okay? So the area of a triangle is half the base times the height. Always remember that. The area of a triangle is half the base times the height. And the reason why that is so, because a triangle is half of a rectangle. Okay? The area of a rectangle is the base or the length times the breadth. Triangle is just half of that. Okay? So let's, let's submit this. So it's 14. Okay, so it's 14. So could you All right. Okay, so let's, let's do the next okay. one. So let's do this one. Okay. So what is the area? What is the area of this triangle? Okay, so this, this is four millimeters and this is four, four millimeters, mm -hmm. okay? All right, mm -hmm. so. Yes. Okay, so again, the area mm -hmm. of a triangle is half the base times the height, okay? Half the base times the height. That's the area of a triangle. Okay, so so the area of a triangle, let's write it out. Area of a triangle is half the base times the height. So, so a half four times four. The base is four. And the height is four. But the height is always, it has to be the perpendicular. The height is perpendicular. Mm -hmm. It always has to be 90 degrees. So half the base times the height. So it's four times four, four is 16. So it's 16 divided by two. Mm -hmm. And 
and that's equal to A, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's A. Yes. So let's, no, easy. so let's put in A and uh, submit it. All right, so so the important thing is that the area, so you have to remember the area of a triangle is half the base times the height. So this is now, this is a rectangle, okay? So you have the length Angle. and the breadth. So the area again is the portion inside the rectangle. It is the portion that's inside the rectangle, all of the space the space inside the rectangle. The area of a rectangle is the length times the breadth. So let's write that out. Area of a rectangle is equal to the length times the breadth. So the length is six inches and the breadth is three inches so and that's three six or eighteen remember when you're talking about the area area has to be a distance squared so it is inches square so inch square inch or square inch okay so it always has to be because you're multiplying a distance times a distance. So it's square the distance. So square inch. So let's submit that. And you're gonna get and submit that. Eighteen. Yeah, three sixes or eighteen. Okay, so all right, so we got that. Okay, now this is a little bit different. This is this is a this is what we call a a, a parallelogram. You remember we talk about the parallelogram? Yeah. So a parallelogram. Yes. Is the, the opposite sides are equal in length, okay? And uh, so this side is equal to this mm -hmm. side, okay? Yes. All right, so uh, what is the area of this parallelogram? What is the area of the parallelogram? Okay, so if if you look at it, we, we they give they give you the height, the height of the parallelogram. Very good. Wait, teacher, wait, you blue. Okay, the height of the the parallelogram is six point six centimeters. The base is five centimeters. Okay, so again, it is a perpendicular height. So the, the area of the parallelogram is the base times the height. The area, the area of the parallelogram is the base times the height, right? Yeah. So the base mm -hmm. times the height and the base is how much? What is the base? The base is five centimeters, right? And the five so the base is his hair, five centimeters, and the height is six point six centimeters. Mm -hmm. So yeah. so five times 6.6 6 
You get 33. All right, so 5 times 6.6 6 is 33. So that's equal to 33 square centimeters or centimeters squared, right? Remember, area is always... Yeah. Area is a distance square because the base is a, a distance and the height is also a distance. So let's submit that and see. So that's 33. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have so far we look at the area of a triangle half the base times the height the area of a rectangle or a square base times the length and then the area of a parallelogram half the base times the height so they ask you know what is the area of this triangle this is a triangle what is the area we know that the area of a triangle is the area of a triangle is half the base half the base times the height. This is the base right here, which is eight mm -hmm. kilometers. And then the, 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 the perpendicular distance from the the tip of the, the the triangle. So you come straight down, and you measure that. That's eight kilometers. So the area is so everything over two. So the base times the height. The base is eight point seven. Eight point seven times six and you're going to divide it by two because it's a half and that's equal to so so it's eight point seven eight point seven times six and you're going to divide that by two and how much you got? How much you got? 26.1. Right, 26.1. So 26.1. Okay. All right, let's. Yeah, that's what I got. Right, okay, so let's put it in 26.1. Okay, all right, so we made a mistake, so let's go back. All right, okay, let's go back and see. So The height was, okay, so, so the height is, it's eight, sorry. This is eight, we put in six. So the height is not six, this is eight. So you're supposed to be seeing much better than I do. This is eight, not six. So instead of multiplying by, instead of multiplying by <laughs> six, it's supposed to be eight, okay? Mm. So you have to pay attention. Both of us were not paying yeah, attention. Yeah, just realized. Right, so it's actually eight. Okay. So. So. Uh, so we would get thirty-four point eight. All right. Let's do the math. So it's eight point seven times eight. And you're going to divide it by two. Times eight. Right, and divide it by two, 34.8. So a lot of people, this this goes to show you that yeah. a lot of people make mistakes in the exam, not because they, they know what they're doing, but if you don't pay attention, okay, you have to pay attention. 
okay? Because you might know what you're doing, but yeah. if you don't pay attention, you'll get it incorrect. So, <clears throat> so it is. So this is not six; it's eight. All right. But you understand. You understand the principle. The area of a triangle yes. half the base times the height. Okay. Okay. So we we made. Actually, a, I know this one because I did it in class. Right. Great. All right, so let's do this one. So this is not a six, that's an eight. All right, what is the area? What is this area? <laughs> so the area again is half the base times the height. So let's. Let's do it. Yes. So the, 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 the base is 5.7. Times eight. Times eight and divided by two. So five point seven times eight. Um yeah, um I'm I got twenty two point eight. Yeah, twenty two point eight. Divided by two, twenty two point eight. So that's twenty two point eight. So we are we have everything correct this time. That's what I got. Yeah, but well, we didn't mistake. That's 5.7. All right. 22. Yes. All right. So let's submit that and see. So 22.8. Okay. 22.8. All right. So, all right. Good. All right. So. This question now, listen, look, listen to this question closely and look at what, what they're asking. They say, what is the area of the shaded region? What is the area of the shaded region? Mm. So just the area of the 3.5 centimeters. Just this shaded area. What is what is the area of this? Just the shaded area. Three point five centimeters. No, that's a length. They're asking what's the area. Remember, the area is the space occupied by the the shaded area. Oh. Mm -hmm. This is this is six centimeters, and this is three point five centimeters. So they just want just the shaded area. Okay, you can calculate the area of the whole thing, right? Right. Okay. All right. So the area of the old thing, the area of the old, the, the, the big triangle then, the area of the big triangle, let's call that, the area of the big triangle, let's call that A1. And that's equal to the base times the height. So half, sorry, half the base times the height. The base is 3.5. And the height is 6. So that's the area of the big triangle. And what that comes out to be. Hmm? What's, what that comes out to be. So that would be 10.5? Mm-mm. Half the base times the height. So it is it is 3. Yes, you're correct. 10.5. 10 point, that's what you said? That's what you said? 10.5? Yes. Okay, yeah. That's 10.5. 
Now that is yes, that's what I said. That's the area of all of this. Now, if we can calculate the area of this small triangle right here and subtract it from this, then we get just the shaded area, right? Yes. Okay. Subtract. So what we need to do now is just calculate the area of this portion and subtract it. What's the area of this portion? Six centimeters? No, six centimeters is a distance. That's not an area. Remember, to get an area, you have to multiply one distance oh. by another distance. So we need to calculate the area of this uh, little portion. and subtract it from the, the total thing. Okay. So Yes. Okay. So the area of the total triangle um, is the base of the base, we did that, times the height. So the area of the smaller triangle is, is going to be the same thing, half the base times the height. Um, Let's see if there's another way we can do this. Um, okay. Sometimes you're going to get a triangle, which, you know, the angle here is not yes. degrees. Sometimes you're going to get triangles looking like this. But if the base is 3.5 centimeters, you have to extend outwards uh, until you get to the the, 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 the the tip of the triangle and then come straight downward and this is the length. So you still use the formula half base times height. Where you know the base, the base is 3.5. You have to now get the height and the height is a perpendicular distance to the peak so you can't you can't you can't you, you cannot say you cannot move from here to there because this you know this the peak the peak of the triangle is right there so you actually have to extend outwards and then make a 90 degrees angle and go up to get the length so this is the length and this is the base okay so it, what, they, what they gave you, they gave you this shaded triangle, and you have to complete, you know, this bigger triangle in order to get uh, the, the 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 height. I don't know if you're following me. Yes, I'm following you. Okay, so the base is. 3.5 and when you extend out to get 90 degrees up to the, the, the tip of the triangle the, the height is 6 centimeters so the answer is 10.5 and of course it's square centimeters okay it's very important to get that concept very important to get that concept because you know you're gonna see questions like that questions like that is gonna come and you have to know how to approach it
Okay. All right. So let's um let's move to this one. So so what is the area of the square? What's the area of the square? So remember the area of the square or the area of a rectangle is length times breadth. With the square, all the sides are the same. When we talk about areas, a space inside the square, all the space inside the square, that is the area. So let's, let's, uh, Write that so the area is equal to the length times the breadth. So again, area is a space inside uh, an area, uh, an, an object. Area is a space inside an object, whereas perimeter is the distance around the object. So the area is what's the length? Seventeen point seven. Okay, and what is, what is the breadth? What is the breadth? Seventeen point seven. Okay. So when you multiply that, you get. So, and again, the area is a square, square of the distance. The seventeen point seven times seventeen point seven, three hundred and thirteen point two nine. Three hundred and thirteen point nine. So it's three point twenty nine. Thirteen. Point twenty nine. Right. Good. So let's submit that and see. Three thirteen point two nine and square millimeters because you're squaring the distance. When you multiply a distance by a non distance, it's going to be the square the distance. All right. All right. So. So they ask you, simplify, what is the yes. area? What is the area? All right. So the, 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 the base of this is one four fifth kilometer and the height is one and a half kilometers. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right, so again, it's a triangle. So the area of a triangle is, the area of a triangle is, what's the area of a triangle? half the base times height. The area of a triangle is half the base times the height. Okay? The base of this triangle is one four fifth kilometers. So if you're gonna write that, you know how to say so it's a half. Times the base. To write this in a proper fraction, you know how to convert this to a proper fa fraction. Okay, so one four fifth is one times five. Mm -hmm. four. So that's nine over five. Is it nine over five? 
it's not level five. times the height to convert this into a proper fraction okay it's 1 times 2 plus 1 that's 3 over 2 3 over 2 okay sure. 1 and a half is 3 over 2 it's true mm -hmm. over two. So if we um, how did you get nine nine five? Okay, because nine five is the same thing as one four fifth. Because five can go into nine one yeah. time and you leave four. Okay. So it's one four fifth. Three. All right, we can practice some of these okay. at a later date. We, we will practice these. So to, to, okay, so to simplify this, we can use the new, the denominator as 10. So two into 10, that will be five. So it will be five times five into 10 is two. So two nines are 18. times 2 into 10 is 5, 5 times 3 is 15, so that's going to equal to, oh. hmm? so 2 into 10 is 5, 5 3 is 15, All right, so let's do the math here. So we have 5 times 18 times 15 divided by 10. So that will be 1350. 1350 divided by 10. So that's give you 135. So that's not correct. We made a mistake somewhere. So we made a mistake. All right, five, sorry, two into 10 is five, one. Uh, five into 10 is to uh to so Okay, so we now we now we, this is not this is not correct. So let me this is not correct. It is not addition. This is a multiplication. So it is all right. So two times five is ten. Two ten is twenty. Yeah. And then one times nine is nine, three nine is twenty seven. So it's not a, it's not addition, it's multiplication. So all right, so when you so you with, with with multiplication of fractions, you multiply the top and you multiply the bottom. Okay? So you, this is not correct. So one times nine 3 9 is 27, 
and you get 20. So when you simplify this, so it's 27 over 20. So it is, um, call it 2.7 divided by 2. 2.7 divided by 2, which is equal to 1.35. Okay. Is this correct? Yes, that's right. That's what I got. Okay. So um what is the area? Um, let's double check 10, 20, 27. So 1.35. All right, let's submit that and see what we got. 1.35. All right, so let's see where we, all right, so that, that's 27 over 20. Okay, oh, okay, so they wanted it in this fashion, okay, so they wanted it, so even though we got 27 over 20, they didn't want it as, they wanted it as, okay, as 1 over, because 20 into 27 goes one time, you leave seven. So it's it's one and seven twenty. You see how they got that? Which this is it's the same thing as this, but they didn't want it in a fraction. They wanted it to be written as this. So you see how these two things are the same? Do you see your 27? Over yes. Right, because 20 into 27 goes one time and you have seven remaining, so it will be seven over 20. So it, it's equal to one and seven twentieth. See that? Okay. All right, but it's the same, it's the same thing. They just want it to be written in a, as a fact. Yes. Okay. All right, so what is the, the area? What is this area? Again, it's mm -hmm. a triangle. Triangle is half the base times the height. Half the base times the height. So let's write it out. The area is half the base. So you have to remember the area of a triangle is half the base time height. height. Okay. But when you talk about the height, is the perpendicular height though? Height, yeah. It has to be perpendicular to the to the, 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 the tip or the peak. So half the base, so if the base is thirteen point two, so it's half times 13.2 times 10.3, which is the height, perpendicular height. So it's a perpendicular height from the base to the peak. All right, so you can solve that. So let's do that. So it's... 13.2 times 10.3, and we're going to divide it by 2. What you got? 
67.98, yeah. That's what I got. 67.98? Yes. 67.98. All right. Okay. All right. So. All right. So let's. All right. So what is the area? So this is. This is a square, right? Because if this side is seven tenth, this side is seven tenth, then you know this side is so all the sides are the same. So this is a square. So the area of a square is the length times the breadth, or the area of a rectangle is the length times the breadth. Okay. It's just that the square, all the sides in a square is equal, are equal. All the sides are equal. So yeah. the area of a square, so this is a square. Let's write it out. The area of the square So they want it as a proper fraction. So we're not going to put it as decimal as we did the last time. So it's, it's 7 over 10 times 7 over 10. And that's equal to? So you multiply the top, 7 times 7, that's 49. And 10 times 10 mm -hmm. is 100, right? Is that correct? Yes. Can you simplify that anymore? Oh? Uh? Can this be simplified anymore? 49 over uh, 100? I don't think we can simplify this anymore, right? No. All right. Okay. No, can't. All right, good. So that's 49 over 100. over 100, all right, okay, so it couldn't be uh, simplified anymore, so, but, all right, so, what is the area, again, this is a triangle, so the area is half of the base times the perpendicular height from the base, right? So it's a triangle, so the area of a triangle. Yes. The area of a triangle is half the base times the height. So the area is half the base Half times the base times the height so it's half the base is all right let's put this in a proper fraction so this is um, so it, it it is nine and one seven so this would be um, it would be seven nine that's sixty three sixty four over seven. Is that correct? 
64 over 7. Nine and one, yes. right? Nine and one seven to sixty four over seven, right? Times the height. So if you're gonna put this in a proper fraction, it would be seven nine and sixty three plus eight. That's uh seventy one plus one. <laughs> Uh, seven, nine, yeah, I understand. Seven, nine, sixty three plus nine, plus that's uh, seventy one over nine. One or seventy one. You put sixty four. Not seven nines. Nine. Okay, so you have to know how we convert these things. You, you see that? So nine, yeah. nine, nine yes. and one is 64 over seven because seven into 63 goes nine times and you're left with one, okay? So it will be nine and one seven. 71 over nine, nine can go into 71 okay. uh, seven times and you're left with eight, right? All right, so let's simplify this. If, if you're having a problem with these fractions, we'll take a separate time to go over them. All right, so when you're multiplying fraction, you multiply the top, you multiply the bottom. So when you multiply the top, it is 64 times 71, okay? So 64, so one times 64 times 71. Okay. It is four, five, five, Sorry, four five four four. Four five four four. And you're gonna divide by two times seven. Two times seven, that's fourteen times nine. So that's 126. There's a lot of numbers here. 126. All right, let's make sure we're doing this. So half the base okay. times the height. So we convert everything into a proper fraction. So it would be 64 times 71. And then 14 times 9. Can we simplify this any? All right, let's see. 4, 5, 4, um, divided by 1, 2. Um, 4, 5, 4, 4. Um, Oh. Uh, probably not. Uh, no, I don't think so. All right, let's see. Six, four times seven, one. Four, five, four, four. Um, hmm. If we divide the top by two, all right, let me see something. Divide by two. Yeah, we can. If we divide the top by two, if we divide the top by two, we get two, two, seven, two. This is a seven. So we have to divide the bottom by two, and that's give us uh, 64. No, 63, right? 
divided by 2, we get 63. Let's see if we can divide that. Let's see, divide by 3. No, we can't do that. Not a problem. Okay. So 2272 by 63. All right. So two two seven two. Okay. Two two seven two divided by sixty three. All right, where we where we made the mistake. Okay, off the base, that height, nine, seven to one, six to four times seven to one, seven that, two, two, seven. Well, we got that, two, two, seven, one. Simplify your answer. But this, that's what we got. Okay, they want, okay. They wanted you to simplify it even more. Anyway, it's the same thing, all right? Um, we will set aside a time to do fraction yeah. a, a, a little bit more. Um, so what we have done so far is to, um, we look at the area of a triangle, which is half the base times the height. We look at the area of a parallelogram, which is, uh, the base times the height, yes. and we look at the area of the square, which is mm -hmm. one side multiplied by the other side. We look at the area of a rectangle, which is the, the base times the height, okay? So you, you have to go over these mm -hmm. things.